think about this, that the discoveries of the world, all of these things that are, that are emerging, that we'd say, oh, this was a great discovery, are actually self-discoveries. That we don't create the growing body of knowledge, we're just gaining greater insight into it. That we're just opening up more to see things more completely. So our mind is the, is the bridge between us and the infinite. And we have the capacity to change our thoughts and change our attitudes like that. You know, in the New Testament, it talks about St. Paul in the twinkling of an eye. So no matter how long we have believed something, it can change in an instant, in the twinkling of an eye. So we, have, uh, we, we talk about how we are divine beings and that God is all-knowing, all-powerful, and everywhere present. And we believe that. But if we don't act like it, you know, what hope is there for for us to have that be an expression? What hope is there for that to ever show up in the world around us? Now, what I believe is so is that each and every one of us, we are an emanation of, uh, we, are the, we are the light of the world. You know, the great light, there is great light within each and every one of us. Now, I realize as soon as I say that, you're thinking, yeah, I know some people, the light is not so great. The light is not so great, but we, we may not be letting it out, right? But that doesn't mean it's not there. We may be hiding it. We may be actively suppressing and covering up that light because maybe we're afraid of it or maybe we're ashamed of it or maybe we don't really know what to do with it. But remember, we are the very activity of God, of spirit in expression.